What is good on guys, this is John here of Fresh Computer on YouTube and today I have another Minecraft Java plugin development tutorial for you and uh, you guys actually requested a lot in the comments and now we are going to learn something new and this new thing is going to be about uh, how to add multiple commands to your plugin and um, I am kind of unprepared so I tried this before and I actually uh, wrote a code like basically but um sometimes I'm gonna struggle so uh because I write code my own so I'm not just copying any codes and just you know telling you it's like that. No um, don't do that so I kind of try to come up with my own things here. But okay <clears throat> let's do this. So we want to have multiple commands and as you can see here we still at our plugin and I haven't really changed anything here. Um we still have our permission node here as well which is kind of cool. <clears throat> and everything working so far but um, now what we want to do we want to add multiple commands so you're probably gonna say well how does that work okay I'm gonna show you it's actually pretty easy uh, at first so what we have right here is our command label so it's basically gonna, gonna say if the command label so if you type in slash block changer then it's gonna do all this stuff but um, what this basically does, it just enables the plugin right here. So this is just for enabling the plugin, but whenever we enable it in our player listener class, it is actually going to turn everything into gold. So we just can check here if in this class right here, the the enabled thing is set to true. So you could also say equals true, and that's going to be the exact same thing. As you can see, it doesn't throw an error, but I'm just going to leave it on plugin.enabled. And it's gonna say block block event dot and then we're gonna change everything into gold. But we want to change that, so we're gonna add multiple commands. And uh, the multiple command thing is actually pretty easy. So we just use an else if. So if that's not there, so if that doesn't happen, then another if statement is going to happen. So we just gonna do the exact same thing. So command label dot equals equals ignore case. <coughs> and by the way. Um, I've tested this just a second ago and it does work so my code is fully working so it's gonna be nice for you it's not gonna be anything which you can't do or something so we're just gonna use BC for block changer and then just iron for example so since we just let's say we want to change it all let's let's start with diamond so these we see diamond. Okay. <laughs> okay, again, let's use emerald. Oh, come on. Emerald. Emerald. Okay, thank you. And then we, of course, have to add our curly braces here. And now, what we're going to do, <coughs> we have to create something because we actually want to see which of those things actually occur. So we can't just say now, oh, okay, cool, we can leave this and we can just add another event.get action that's not going to work because it's just going to execute that one thing here so it's never actually that so that doesn't make sense so we actually have to tell this one here which of the commands has been so our playlist in the class uh, which one of our commands has been used so how does that work um, I'm gonna use a pretty cool and elegant way I'd say because I'm gonna use a so-called enum so uh, how does that work you just put public enum and now we can give it a name and I'm gonna use command oh, it's it's like this command used and then you just put you're gonna put your trolley braces just like that so we're gonna see which one of our commands has been used and then we're just going to add the first one is emerald and then I'm gonna add diamond one gold and then iron just like that and now we actually I have to create a variable here, so I'm gonna make it public so we can access this from our playlist in the class right here. I'm gonna make this a public command used. And that's it. And I have to set this equal to something. I suppose. Do I? Oh yeah, equal command used, and then I'm just gonna call this a CMD used. And so was that. And now I created this variable, so our enum command used and this is of the type command used right here and I gonna call this variable com cmd used so you can access it from our class right here using plugin dot cmd used <coughs> so in this else of statement I'm gonna put uh, okay I would have to write this all over again so I'm even going to create an, another void so I'm just gonna put public sorry if you can't see that public void and then 
Uh, let's see. A check enabled. And then, oh, again, not C sharp. Sorry. Check enabled, and I'm actually going to pass something through this void right here because we actually want to determine the sender. So, a sender. So, the command send, sender, uh, sender, and we need uh, the arguments. So, the string array and then arguments. <clears throat> okay. So, I'm going to pass this through here. And what I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to see if the arguments dot length is equal to zero and if that's the case then I'm gonna make then gonna make the uh, the check the condition if uh, it's no oh my god I know what a string is what the fuck so if it's not enabled so if enabled is set to false over there okay uh, then I'm gonna send the player a message so I'm just gonna put player sender dot send message. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, of course we're gonna use a chat color dot red, and we of course want to notify the player that the plugin isn't enabled yet, so he has to enable it. So we're gonna put a uh, please use slash block changer. To enable the command, I uh, know. To enable the puck in first. <laughs> okay, and if it's and if it's not, so if it is already enabled, then we just want to say, um, okay, because we're gonna. Oh yeah, of course, because we're gonna set our CMD used variable. We're gonna equal this to. Um, Command used dot emerald, and this should actually work. Okay, and then we're gonna say, um, so we're gonna send the player a message that the block he actually used the command as uh, is actually going to be the block we're going to be using. So I'm just gonna send a message in chat color dot green <coughs> plus lol plus. And if you have no idea what I'm doing or what this code before this one here was, then go ahead to my uh, go to my previous tutorials and watch them, and you know follow the step there. So um, I'm gonna use a uh, play dot set over there. Um, right click a uh, block, and it will will be turned into a. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put plus and then I'm gonna use command used no cmd used dot to string oh yeah that actually exists great oh okay and then luck <coughs> okay so our command used variable will be uh convert it into a string so we can display that in our message and so the command used will be set to emerald right here so it's just gonna say this little bit here I guess so it's just gonna say right click a block and it will be turned into a emerald plus uh, uh, into an emer emerald block symbol is that <clears throat> okay so that's gonna be for every little thing here so we're just gonna put check enabled and what we're gonna do we're gonna pass through our sender right here so the sender and our arguments okay and that should work so that's the first thing you can do now uh, so now we have that I'm gonna add one quickly another command here so we're just gonna put a command so we gotta do the exact same thing it's simple as that equals ignore case and now I'm going to put um oops all up. uh bc bc diamond okay that's one okay uh then i'm just going to put uh, cmd used equals command used dot diamond 
and I'm gonna check the enabled again and I'm gonna pass through the sender and our arguments so it actually knows who the sender was so who was the player who actually uh, used the command <clears throat> so we actually don't have to care about this because like you can probably say well uh, we have to add the permission to that but we don't actually because it's the, if the plugin isn't enabled for the player then he has to enable it first and if he tries to enable it it's gonna say no you don't have the permission and it's not gonna enable it for him so that's gonna be alright okay but now we actually have to go into our playlist in the class and have to see which one of the conditions is actually true so which one which command did it use or did the player or the person who actually uses the command use so we're gonna say if event.getx so we're gonna put our code right below this one here so right below this if statement and this is actually for gold and then I'm just gonna put a switch statement so we're gonna switch the plugin so the this class right here and then the uh, CMD used the CMD used uh, thing uh, the, 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 so what command has been used simple as that and uh, now to make a switch statement we have to put case and then we have so I'm gonna put um one case is emerald and then you have to add this and at the end of this block right here we have to add a break and then we can use another case and if you were to put jibba jibba ya here and it wouldn't work because it's not actually an element of our enumeration so we're gonna put case diamond and that's gonna turn to this blue text right there and then we're just gonna put the exact same thing so block dot set type ID and the type ID for iron uh, for diamond I'm not too sure so I'm just gonna go ahead and you can simply google that and as you can see I had this block of iron here because you know, I tried to do this before so block of diamond right here just go to minecraftwiki.net and uh, then you should get all this stuff here so we got our block of diamond and this block of diamond is 57 okay you probably know this but I'm not an active minecraft player so I have no idea about that and then I'm just gonna put uh, event dot get player so the player who actually is currently using the command or is currently yeah the player <laughs> simply is that and now we're gonna use the chat color again and uh, for some reason put that put it here chat color dot blue and you know what I'm gonna put plugin dot lol plus uh turned into a diamond block so we actually know where this uh, tax is coming from so I'm gonna put this little thing here as well and then you can continue on with that so you can add more commands so you can add iron and coal and all this stuff and you can uh, make this enumeration thing here bigger so you can do this for all types of woods and things like that so you really have something to go about and uh, yeah so that's really how it's working then you just have to save it but we also have to change some stuff in the plugin.yml file so that's important as well so we're just gonna go ahead and open this and I've already put all this stuff in here so as you can see we just have to go to our commands block changer so two spaces is always important then we add a little description so if, if someone is using essentials and puts slash help and then the plugin or the yes the slash block changer and a wait I'm just gonna put enables or disables the plugin uh, and then it's just gonna do that so two spaces again block change it now we have to add our commands here so our first command was um, BC Emerald so I'm just gonna use BC Emerald and you know what I'm gonna make this a little Look this, make this look a little nicer. So we see emerald, and then just space and description. It's going to be uh, turns blocks into emerald ones, and then for our <coughs> excuse me, for the diamond we just put the same thing again. So we see diamond, and then our little description here again. This description uh, turns trunks turns blocks into uh, diamond ones okay so that's actually our nice little tutorial for now so you know how to add multiple commands and how to 
make it change multiple blocks then and um yeah so thanks for watching guys that you can add more to this and uh see you in another tutorial